this video, you will learn the top five benefits of Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Giving your customers a great digital buying experience is key to growing revenue and earning repeat customers. And we think that Salesforce Commerce Cloud is a pretty great way to get there. My name is Karen and I'm from Chargent. If you are wondering if Salesforce Commerce Cloud is right for your organization, then you are in the right place. One important thing that you should know is that Chargent makes it easy to connect payments to Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Let's get right to it. Benefit number one, 360 view of your customer. No other CRM system is as complete as Salesforce. With Salesforce Commerce Cloud now 100% on platform, you can bring together all of the customer data in your primary CRM system with your valuable commerce data. Having all your customer data in one place lets you give buyers a personalized experience, and that drives loyalty and ultimately leads them to buy more. Benefit number two, Salesforce reliability. Salesforce has long staked their claim to reliability on a 99.9% .9 uptime record, and they back it up with publicly available data. An e-commerce system built on the Salesforce platform means that you get the same performance you've come to expect from your CRM. Because the most important thing is that it's available when your customer is ready to buy. Benefit number three, simplified modern commerce. Building a modern commerce site can be really complicated. In addition to managing payments, products, and logistics, you need a deep understanding of your users. Who are they and what are they going to buy? Salesforce simplifies all of that by leveraging state-of-the-art user experience and artificial intelligence tools. They've already done the heavy lifting and deep thinking so you can focus your attention on where it belongs, on your core business. Learn how Chargent for Commerce Cloud helps you get to market faster. Click the link in the description of this video to learn more. Benefit number four, the Salesforce Partner Ecosystem. The Salesforce API allows ISVs to connect to Commerce Cloud, giving you a wide range of pre-integrated options for shipping and other tools that you need to support your e-commerce operations. And as your business needs change, it's easy to visit the App Exchange to identify new solutions. Benefit number five, payments simplified. As for payments, Chargent for Commerce Cloud gives you access to the most popular payment gateways. We will even add new payment gateway integrations based on customer demand. Chargent makes it easy for you to connect and start taking payments in minutes, which means you can get your commerce channel to market faster and start delivering for your customers. Did you know that Salesforce Commerce Cloud is now fully on platform? As of June 2021, Salesforce has launched their world-class e-commerce platform 100% on the Salesforce Cloud. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate the Salesforce B2B2C Commerce Cloud user experience. We're also gonna take a quick peek into the admin panel for the Commerce Cloud, and we are gonna show you Chargent for Commerce Cloud and how it seamlessly integrates all of this to CyberSource for you. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. If you're considering Salesforce Commerce Cloud to improve your organization, then you're in the right place. At Chargent, we focus on making payments available everywhere on Salesforce Clouds. We started in the Sales Cloud over a decade decade ago, and today we support Revenue Cloud, Experience Cloud, Community Cloud, and as of Summer 21 release, we fully support Commerce Cloud on platform. We support the three primary applications on the Commerce Cloud, including Salesforce Order Management, B2B Lightning, and the Consumer Ready B2B2C Commerce Cloud. All right, let's go ahead and get into the demo. First off, let's take a look at the consumer e-commerce experience. Here. I'm gonna be acting as one of my favorite artists, Nina Simone, and Nina is a regular customer, and today she's looking to buy her pre-workout green tea drink from the North Trail Outfitters website. All right, once her items are in the cart, she heads to checkout, and she is logged in, so her shipping details are pre-populated for her. She confirms her preferred shipping method, and next, she enters her payment details, and she clicks place order. Whoa, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Well, dear viewers, should we fix this for Nina? I think we should. To find the issue, we're gonna put on our Salesforce admin hat and head to the Commerce Store admin panel for our NTO store. Here, I click the Store Administration tile. Next, I choose Card Payment Gateway on the left. The page clearly tells me that no integration is selected. Let's link an integration. Here, I will choose Chargent CyberSource and then just confirm the integration. Putting my customer hat back on and acting as Nina, I will try again. 
Well, all right, that worked just as expected and I'm quite jazzed about it. Now that Nina has submitted her order, it's time for the order management team to take action. Let's go ahead and see what their workflow looks like. The order management team has a Commerce Cloud app just for themselves and it's called Salesforce Order Management. Here on the order, in the order payment summaries, the manager is able to see that Nina's payment has been authorized, in this case, for $35.09. As I see the details in Salesforce, I know that if I were to jump over into the Cybersource Merchant Panel, I will see the payment authorization there. And sure enough, here it is, the same authorization with the required reconciliation details right here in Cybersource. Now in your day-to-day -day life as an order manager, you're likely never gonna go into Cybersource. That, it's really for the accountants that are busy doing the reconciliation. All right, now we are back in Salesforce order management. And my last action on this order as the order manager is to set the order to be approved. The next step in this e-commerce process is to have the fulfillment team pick and pack the order to be shipped. And when they're done, the fulfillment agent clicks the fulfilled chevron and clicks the mark as current status. Here on my order payment summary, I see that the 3509 for this fulfilled order has been captured. My job here is done. And just to put a bow on this for our esteemed colleagues in the accounting department, we will jump into Cybersource just to show you that the payment was captured successfully here also. And right here, I wanna stop and I wanna note that Nina put in her payment details and then at no other point did the order management or the fulfillment team need to think about payments at all. You'll note that they never clicked a capture button. This is what frictionless payments look like. For the teammates working the order, they can trust but verify that the payments were handled correctly. The accounting team can clearly see the payments and reconcile them as needed. And just to tie this up neatly, I want you to see that our integration also ties easily into the Lightning B2B Commerce application. You can see here that I'm in a store we call Chargent B2B. As the UI is as close to as possible as it was in the B2C admin panel we saw earlier, I follow the same click path to link a payment gateway. Want to see that demo? Great. Subscribe to this channel now. We are going to fully demo B2B Lightning in another video here. Chargent for Commerce Cloud makes gateway integration a snap. As of the filming of this video, we support Cybersource and Stripe. We're currently working on Adyen and many others. Making gateways in Salesforce easy for you, that's what we do. Get in touch with us today to solve your payment issues. The question that drives me each day is, how do we make the complicated world of payments simple for Salesforce customers? Charging for Commerce Cloud was developed to ensure that you can use the gateways that you want to use without having to do any heavy lifting. You won't have to spend time learning about the Salesforce Payments API or gateways technical tools. Our experts did this already. In this video, you will see a demo of Lightning B2B Commerce Cloud using Chargent for Commerce Cloud. My name is Robert, and I am from Chargent. If you're on the e-commerce project team for your company, and you want to see how Lightning B2B Commerce works, then you're in the right place. Benefit number one is that you can transact with Cybersource today. Getting Commerce Cloud ready to transact with Cybersource can be a laborious and difficult process you will need to understand the APIs for both Salesforce Commerce Payments and for Cybersource. Then build connector and test it truly. Our experts already did all of this for you. It's ready to go now. That means your project team can focus on putting the right product in front of the right buyers at the right time. Taking payments? We already solved that for you. As we get started, I have one ask of you and two benefits I want you to know about. First, I ask that you use the link in the description of this video to download our guide that will teach you how to manage accounts receivable and collection challenges in Salesforce using Chargent. Download the guide using the link in the description of this video right now. Benefit number two, access to Chargent core features. Chargent for Commerce Cloud is an extension of our core Chargent product. And as our customers, you get the benefit of access to all of the Chargent core functionality. 
You will be ready to collect on invoices, take care of recurrent payments, and give your call center team access to take payments right in Salesforce. As we get into the demo, I want to level set a bit and help us all understand how Commerce Cloud works and what to expect. First off, Commerce Cloud is a set of tools to enable organizations to create enterprise-ready commerce solutions. As that is the case, it doesn't make sense for Salesforce to chip a ready-to-transact system. Instead, when you buy a Commerce Cloud, you are buying a platform which can support enterprise-grade commerce solutions. All of that is to say, in order to use Commerce Cloud, you will need to be proficient in Salesforce flow. Your team will need to tweak the flow to make your process fit your organization. The charge for Commerce Cloud integration supports the major payment transaction types, which are registered token, authorize, capture, void, out reversal, and refund. While charge and integration does support this function, we are dependent on the Commerce Cloud Payments API team to implement each of them in order to have them work for you. There are two prerequisites to mimic this demo in your own org, which are, one, a fully functional commerce store, two, charging for commerce cloud set up as per our implementation and admin guide. This setup we cover in other videos on this channel. Please subscribe so you can see that. Without further ado, let's see the system in action. First off, Let's head into the Commerce app from the homepage. I can choose my B2B store and choose the administration tile. Here, I can choose a car payment gateway from the left-hand side of the screen. The page clearly says that no integration is selected, so I click Link Integration. Here, I can choose from the gateways that have been integrated. Today, we're demoing using CyberSource. Simply click the plus sign next to the CyberSource option. The next page reminds me that this action will impact active sessions that are happening currently on the Commerce Store. I click Confirm. As I have done my primary setup before, now including setting up the gateway credentials and the payment gateway records, these details are covered in detail in our implementation and administration guide. Now the B2B store is ready to transact. Let's switch hats over to be a coffee buyer. Our coffee buyer today is Rosetta Tar of Rosetta Coffee on Colton Plant, Arkansas which is buying 20 bags of medium roast coffee. Next, Rosetta adds to cart, then views the cart and double checks her order. She sees her volume discount was applied. She proceeds to checkout. Her address is correct, so she clicks next and chooses the chipping option, clicks next again to input her car details on the Commerce Cloud pay form. Clicks through confirm order details, clicks next, then sees that her order is complete. Now we switch to our order manager hat. And in Salesforce, we're now in the Salesforce order management system. Here we see Rosetta's order and we can clearly see that her payment was authorized. As we switch hats to the fulfillment manager, we pick and pack Rosetta's order, then set the fulfillment order to fulfill. Back on the order, we now see that the payment has been captured. Rosetta's Cafe will soon be delivered to Colton Plant, Arkansas. And now, check out this next video. My name is Robert, and I am from Charging, where we're dedicated to helping you make Salesforce payments simple. And remember, we are always here to help.